the I somebody told me that that that, that there was a king in southern Africa where whom they told that there are cannibals cannibals people who eat people in that on that mountain there should we go and kill them we said no no don't kill them send them cows so they send them cows and they, they ate the cows but they were still eating people So they came and told the king that the people, they ate the cows, but they also eat people still. So he said, no, you send them more cows. So they kept eating the cows and people until they got tired and started really eating cows and stopped eating the people. So I think my drunk supporters in Agago who lose money and so on, those, those will be there, but I think they will stabilize, they will, they will learn. So the PDM will continue, because PDM, because in the, pro, in the pro, process we are also shedding a lot of, 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 of skins, we arrest the people who steal their money, who take bribes, we arrest them. Very, very soon they will be tired. We shall run out of thieves before we run out of, of space in the prison. They will stop stealing the money. And we have calibrated it well. We have said the one who takes PDM money should not start paying until after 24 months. And he will pay simple interest, not compound interest. Just 10% on the 1 million after, two, after 24 months. That is 110 million. Uh, no, 1 million and 1.1 million. And start paying and finish in 36 months. So that one should not, we should not relax on that. It should become standard each year. We should add on money, money. We are, we are putting each year one trillion, one trillion. Each parish is getting 100 million. So by now we have like 300 million in a parish. Even the one who, 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 whose money was stolen, she would have to get it from her relatives and pay it back. We shall send her to jail. So it will stabilize. So that one, I, for the smaller people, I think that one will, will be addressed. But the bigger people who want more money, which, can, which is not PDM, which is money for manufacturing, for big commercial agriculture, that's why Ojangure must really answer, explain. And if the conference is not finished, call her and she tells you what the problem is. Now, on the strategic level, I am remaining with the two, two dates. One is the railway. Because this economy of, of vehicles is very wasteful. As you can see, the road traffic jams. We are squandering a lot of, of, of money on fuel. Just you are in the car, the, the engine is running, you are not moving, the whole roads are full. Because you, you, people are richer, they have a lot of vehicles but the roads are not en enough distributed to, di to distribute them. Uh, like for instance, when I'm going to Jinja, I normally pass by the Bakunja. I no longer fear the Bakunja. I pass through Nkokonjeru. And there you don't see much traffic. 
The other time when I passed through Kayunga, I didn't also see much traffic. The problem comes from Mukono to here. That's where the problem is. But with the roads we are building around Kampara, I think to bypass Kampara, if you are going to, to the west, why do you have to come through Kampara? You, you can pass those Chira there. This, this, uh, uh, but still, the use of, of vehicles for cargo is not efficient. The real solution for cargo is the railway. The railway within Uganda, we are now, now repairing the meter gauge, but we are also very soon going to start the standard gauge to the, to the sea, to the, to the coast, so that we have got low costs of transport, low cost of electricity, low cost of transport. Now, the other strategic issue I'm remaining with is the irrigation. Irrigation. Somebody talked about it a bit here. That irrigation will transform this agriculture. Your person, Dr. Muranga, in her banana project in Ushenyi, we gave her government land and we supported her. She's irrigating there. She's now producing the Banyankora round there are producing 5.3 metric tons of bananas per hectare. But Dr. Maranga is producing 53 tons from the same hectare. So it, her production has gone up 10 times because of irrigation. And this is where the issue of interfering with the wetlands is a big mistake. People should leave the wetlands and we, 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 we preserve the water there to irrigate the, the dry land. We are going to have much more production and use the wetlands in a better way because the wetlands can be used for fish, fish ponds on the edges. You put the fish pond at the edge And the center of the swamp comes back and has, has, has the water, has the, the, the grass. That grass is good for mulching. You cut it and mulch and you, it grows again. Really, God, God loves Uganda so much. When you see how, how rich Uganda is and you see how people are misusing the resources, you, you feel very sorry. So irrigation is our other strategic target. We shall have these group irrigations, but also encourage individual irrigation by using solar-powered pumps, which we are already producing with one company here. Mm. So once you do that, once we, ha we have this, the peace, the monetization, of, the full monetization of the economy, everybody to be involved in the money economy, Electricity, which we already have, and we are expanding. The roads, which we already have, and we are expanding. Ojangore becoming irrelevant, because now she's a bit irrelevant, I think. The railway irrigation, we shall have addressed now, the, the other issue, of course, is the market, market access, which will be partly addressed by the purchasing power. Because if we, we have more money in our people's hands, they will consume more within, within the country. Take textiles. In the villages, you, <laughs> you find children fighting for one blanket. At night, they are fighting. Mama, the other one has taken the blanket from me. Because it, it is one blanket with four children inside. No bed sheets, no what? What sort of... 
I, I go around and I see the children without shoes. Up to now, you see ch children are going to school without shoes. I don't know why these school people don't uh, encourage them to have at least uh, rugabire, the other, the other tire sandros. They, they are much better than just walking on bare feet. So all that purchasing power, the, the shoes, the, the, the textiles, the food, the, the market is there, but it is suppressed, suppressed the demand because they don't have the money to buy.